Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best smothered pork chops with a nice onion gravy. That's going to be undeniably good. So let me run down everything that you are going to need to make this. I got some pork chops here that have already been cleaned and patted dry. I got my spice blend. I got my eggs. I got some flour and cornstarch. And I got some onions that I sliced up and this is what they should look like. I did it off camera. Okay, you get the picture. I got some chicken broth back here. Some heavy whipping cream and some Worcestershire sauce. And as we go along, anything else that I add, I will let you know. And as usual, all of the ingredients that I am using, I will be listing them in the description below with the measurements. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I got my pork chops here, ready to go. So. I'm gonna show you guys what I normally do and I think I showed you in my mustard fried pork chop video which I'll link in the description below so you guys can uh, check that video out. But what I like to do is take a sharp knife and slice a, a small little slit down the middle and make sure it goes all the way through because this helps with the pork chop not bubbling up when it fries. And you won't have that problem if you do this. Okay. This one is already done, but I want to make sure that I've done it correctly. And yes, I have. No, I did. <laughs> All right, guys, so let me get these seasonings ready. And we're going to apply the seasonings to the, uh, the pork chops now. So here is our seasoning blend. And as I mentioned earlier, I will definitely be listing everything in the description below as far as the amounts and exactly what it is. So we're just going to give these a mix and make sure they're all fully incorporated and with these seasonings here, what we are going to do is put some of it onto the pork chops and the rest is going to go into the uh, flour and cornstarch mixture. And some will be reserved for later for the onion gravy that we're going to make. All right, so it's looking good to me. And this is what you should come up with. All right, see that? There we go. All right, let's apply this mixture to our chops now. Okay, so now that we got our seasoned blend mixed up, I'm just gonna apply some of it and we're gonna do both sides. We're gonna do this very lightly. We're gonna season it very lightly because a lot of the flavor is gonna be coming from the gravy itself. So you don't wanna over season these. But you don't wanna under season them either because you want to have flavor in every bite, right? So what you got to do is do what I say. <laughs> All right. Just want to press that in. I'm not even going to rub it. Let's press that in. So we can do the other side. All right, so we're going to season up this next side. Like I said, you want to make sure you got enough, but not too much. You just want to press that in. All right. You guys, make sure that you like this video. I greatly appreciate it. Any type of support, you can comment. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that when I post a video, you'll definitely know about it. And also make sure you hit the notifications so that you can know that I posted a video. Okay, that looks about good to me. Right, I'm going to let these sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay. Alright, looks good to me. How does it look to y'all? <laughs> Okay, so let's add the rest of this seasoning into our cornstarch and flour mixture. All right, so we're gonna add this into our flour and cornstarch mixture, just like I said. Now that we have added our seasoning blend to our cornstarch and flour mixtures, you can go ahead and mix that through. You can use a whisk, a fork, anything you like, but right now I'm gonna use my hand because it's absolutely okay. 
<laughs> to do so. So guys, I've added the uh, cornstarch to our flour mixture because it's gonna help with making the pork chops, you know, extra crispy so it will hold the gravy better and also to help with the, uh, the gravy's consistency to keep it like a silky smooth gravy instead of just using plain old flour. So let me get those eggs so we can beat those and start preparing these pork chops to get ready to fry. Okay guys, so we got our eggs. I'm not gonna season these because our pork chops and our seasoned flour has enough seasoning. I don't wanna over season it because we don't wanna have anything salty. I know you guys agree with me on that one. So now that we got our eggs beat, we're gonna line up our assembly line to get these pork chops into the egg mixture, then into the flour. And then we're gonna set them aside for about 10 minutes to let that flour adhere to the pork chops so we can have the perfect fry on those. But for now, make sure that your oil is already starting to preheat. You're not gonna use a whole lot of oil, but I will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But right now you wanna have it um, preheated to at least about 325 degrees. That's okay guys, so I'm adding the oil now and you wanna add at least about a cup and a half. We're gonna be doing a shallow fry. This is a pretty wide pan. So that's why I'm gonna be using that amount. Okay, so everything is pretty much set up. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in that egg mixture. This bowl is a little bit small. I didn't realize that earlier, but it's a-okay. As long as it does what I need it to do. Let the excess drip off. Look how well seasoned that is. Oh man, these are gonna be good. I already know. All right, so put that in your flour mixture. Remember, as I always tell y'all when we are, when you guys are watching my frying videos, you don't want no bare spots. So make sure that whatever it is that you're frying is evenly coated and you give it a press. You wanna shake off the excess. Okay, looks perfect to me. Now we're gonna let this guy hang out right where we got them from. Then I'm gonna do these other two, then we'll come back when it's time to fry these boys up. Okay guys, so our oil is ready. Remember, whenever you're dealing with hot oil, you always lay everything away from you. There we go. So we're gonna fry these on each side for about four to five minutes until it gets a light brown color. And we're not gonna cook them all the way through because we're gonna finish them off in the gravy. They're just gonna simmer and finish out its cooking process and be tender as ever. So I will be back when it's time to flip them and I will show you exactly what they're supposed to look like. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you what your pork chops should be looking like at this point. And now we're gonna get to sauteing our onions. Okay guys, so I discarded the majority of that oil. I left at least two tablespoons behind. So now to those two tablespoons of oil that I left behind, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter. Now we're gonna let that melt down. Then we're gonna add our onions. Guys, these pork chops smell amazing. I'm ready to eat them just like that. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also share the video and definitely hit the like button for me. It helps out a whole lot. And also make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are alerted whenever I do post a video. Okay, so now Let's saute our onions. Just wanna move those around and make sure they all get coated in that butter and oil mixture. And all of that flavor is still in that oil from where we fried those pork chops, which makes it even better. So you want to do this at least from like four to five minutes 
not until they are translucent. You still want to make sure that you have a bite to them because once they simmer in that gravy, you don't want them to be soggy or even disappear to where you have, you know, not so much onions or none at all. So from here, you can see that the onions are starting to change color, which is perfect. You don't want them to be too soft because you don't want them to disappear in your gravy when you simmer it down with the pork chops. You still want to have, you know, full body onions. They can be bendable. <laughs> That's fine. They can be soft, but, you know, not too soft to where as though, you know, it's just nothing. So I'm going to let this go for about another two to three minutes. And I'll come back when it's time to add our flour. Guys, these onions are perfect right now. So what you want to do now is add your flour. You don't have to add it all at once because you don't want to put too much, but I will leave the measurements in the description below as I stated earlier. So you just want to mix this around, get it fully coated and cook that flour taste out. No bit of gravy over here. <laughs> Remember that cornstarch that I put in the flour mixture to uh, coat our pork chops is gonna help this gravy become silky smooth. I just feel like, you know, adding that makes the consistency better than just using flour. You just wanna move them around a little bit for about two to three minutes to cook that flour taste out. So it's been long enough, and as you can see, I'm adding our chicken broth right now start with about a cup I don't want to overdo it and you want to constantly mix that in I know it looks a little light right now but trust me it's gonna all come together because we're not done yet this looks amazing like those onions are everything and having so many onions is gonna create the best flavor in the gravy I guess it's safe to say I can add the rest of that broth Let's do that. Well, not the rest, just some of it. Don't worry, guys. The measurements will definitely be in the description below. Okay, so now to the gravy. I'm going to add the Worcestershire sauce. Okay, guys, so now to the gravy. I'm going to add the Worcestershire sauce. What the Worcestershire sauce is going to do is going to help with the color of our gravy. As it starts to cook down, it's going to give it the perfect brown color. You'll see. Just stick with me. Okay, guys. Look at that beautiful brown color. See, I told you to stick with me. And everything's going to be all right. So this is the consistency that you want. You can see, still see that it's kind of, you know, thick on its way to being even thicker. You want to be able to add your chops in there at this point because if it's too thick then it won't work out it'll just clump up and it'll be way too much so this consistency is fine okay so now we're going to taste for seasoning wow that's good but i'm going to put a teaspoon of chicken bouillon in there and also a little black pepper you're gonna mix that in. And you're gonna do a taste check again. Wow, that is perfect. And guys, another reason why I wanted to leave this gravy at, another reason why I wanted to be this loose at this point, because I'm gonna be adding the heavy cream and that's gonna also help with thickening this gravy up. So it may turn a little light But that's okay because guess what? That is nothing bad. <laughs> because, again, because it's all still gonna come together and still obtain that nice brown color. See it coming through. All right.
All right, guys, so now it's time to add our chops to this gravy. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look at that. Come on, guys. Now we're going to let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes until the pork chops are cooked all the way through. And then we'll be ready to plate up. Okay, so I'm going to cover this for that 15 to 20 minutes. And I'll be back to show you guys the final result and we're gonna plate up after that. Okay, so we're back and it's time to see the final results of this amazing dish that we just created, smothered pork chops with onion gravy. Oh man, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The gravy has a perfect consistency, as you can see. Oh man, guys, this smells amazing. Oh my God. I am loving this. <laughs> and you see what I told you about, about the, uh, the gravy and its color? Since we added the uh, heavy whipping cream, didn't even do anything bad to it. Okay guys, so I think I want to hit it with a little bit of parsley to make it pretty. Some food glitter. Okay, I think that's perfect. Alright guys, let's plate up so we can taste this. Alright guys, let's complete this plate right now. Look at that. Oh my God. Come on, y'all. Oh man, that looks amazing. And you know I tasted it already, guys. <laughs> Come on, I wouldn't be me if I didn't. So I completed making our plate. So now it's time to give this a try. Let's see how it did. Wow, that fork went right through. Guys, this is so tender. Wow. Look at that. All the way cooked through, moist, and I'm sure it's good. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Listen, <laughs> I'm not saying this just because I made it, but this is really good. This tastes amazing. Those flavors and the way that we layered them. Oh my God, you guys gotta try this recipe. I kid you not, you will never make it no other way. So guys, that is it for this video. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel and definitely turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post another video. And guys, I thank you so much for all of your subscriptions, all of your views, any type of support, you know? Just wanna let you guys know that I definitely appreciate everything. So guys, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.